Hey guys, now today I've got a little treat for you. I like making stories up and yeah, that's the treat. And I've got a little story to show you on here. Here, um, it needs to charge. Oh, can't see. Oh, it needs to charge. See here. Um, so yeah, but I've got a little story. Um, I haven't finished it. It about Noah and I'm in it. I was so so for me, obviously. Eight four pages, but I haven't finished the story. I haven't got a title, but I just thought, could my friend think it was good and likes it? And I just thought, I got to do it. So yeah, I'll go tell you. The story basically. Have finished, but I hope you enjoy it. Okay, Sophie Povio. Okay. After a while dating Noah, it was amazing. But last week, he started to act weird. He only said yes or no answers. And when I go around his house, he says he's always sleeping. I started to think the worst. I thought he was cheating on me, or that he don't want to date me anymore. But when I asked, he says silent. I ask his mum if something happened and did you notice a sudden change? She then replied that she had not noticed and nothing happened. Then I asked that when around me he's strange and then his mum said I noticed sometimes but I thought he was just having a bad day. When he at home with his new friends he's normal Noah. I started to worry. Or well, that cinema we know her from the date. However, here we sat, open chair between us. He thought we could put our jackets and our drinks on the side cup holders with our popcorn on top of our jackets. Still, I got a fun feeling he doesn't like me anymore. I want. I was about to ask him something before the film started. Unexpectedly, Noah was on his phone. Then he hushed me because the cinema had darkened and the adverts came on. Halfway through the movie, I looked at Noah in, in the corner of my eye and saw him texting and grinning. I looked over sneakily, then there I saw a girl named called Emma. I panicked. I know he don't have a girl who is a friend. Then again, I probably don't know him anyway. I thought I did. I was then I was then calm myself and think about why he's texting Emma and think that it probably something else. Next, we were out the cinema and norm normally Noah will always sneak up and hold my hand. However, instead he just speed walk ahead of me. Plus he was texting. When we at the car park, Noah's mum was waiting for us. In fact, she was really confused as to why Noah was ahead of me and not next to me. Noah sat in front seat of his mum's car. Normally Noah would sit next to me in the back seat really close. This got me thinking and I knew then something was wrong. I was going to ask him tonight. After a while we were home at Noah's house. His mum was about to go upstairs until Noah burst out rudely by Soph. I replied, what do you mean by, I'm staying the night, remember? Noah shook his head and said, no, I've got plans. Noah's mum then added, hold on, no, what happened to you? Noah then hissed, nothing. Sophie got frustrated and growled, okay, do you want to break up because the things you used to do, you don't do anymore? And you never notice when I exit, and I don't think you care anymore, so do you want to break up? Because if you do, just say yes. Then we've broken up. No, then put his phone in the front right pocket. No, muttered quietly while looking down the floor. Yes. I looked at No in shock and recovered fast and quietly sniffed. Bye. I walked to the front door. I opened the gold rusty door handle. Noah's mum warningly said, I'll drive you home, it's getting late. I shake my head and answered, no, I, I know my way home from here. I ran outside, going home. Noah's mum ran outside and jumped into her car. 
I slowed down my running when I out of sight of Noah's house. I should have known he wanted to break up to break up me. So stupid. He's gorgeous, amazing, sweet boy. Noah will never love me. It is impossible. I then saw a car behind me, following me. I picked up the pace and started to speed walk. The car still was following me. I started to sprint. The car picked up the pace. I began to get scared and ran for my life. The car began to drive faster than before. I then got out of breath and stopped running. Then car stopped and the window on the passenger side began to open. Then I saw a brown headed woman with blue sparkly eyes just like Noah's. I realised it not just any woman, it was Noah's mum. She smiled and chuckled, sorry I scared you, get in the car. I nodded and opened the black handle, got in the passenger seat and shut the door. The seat was very comfortable, I put the seat belt on securely, I put my hands in my lap and just look at them. Noah's mum was about to talk but decided not to. She just started the car up again to drive to my house. Next is Noah's Povo. This is Noah's only. I threw my phone on the floor in my room angrily. Sophie will never get it. I can't be with her anymore. I want to, but I can't. I decided to get ready to sleep. I got my shirt off and just threw it on the floor. I quickly got my black jeans off my legs and dropped them on the floor as well as my shirt. I sat on the bed and pulled my white socks off my feet and threw them on the floor. I then lay on, the, I lay on my bed with the blankets over me. I shifted my bed to get comfortable. When I found my spot, I shut my eyes slowly. The next day, I woke up with a terrible noise. It was my mum with a spoon and saucepan banging the spoon on the saucepan right in front of my bed. I got off my bed and shouted to mum, What did you do that for? My mum stopped banging the spoon and shouted back to me, Why do you break up with Sophie? I then looked down at my toes and replied, I didn't want to. My mum got confused and questioned me. So why did you say yes if you didn't want to break up with her? All you had to say is yes, and you did. I then looked at my mum and muttered quietly, I want to be normal. I then cried. My mum caught what I said and put the spoon and saucepan on my bed. She went next to me and put me on my bed. And she sat next to me. She hugged me. Next, she was rubbing my back to comfort me. After a little cry I had, I got up and went to my closet to get some clothes for the day. My mum then got the spoon and saucepan and went out the door gracefully. And this is my povo. I woke up with my eyes hurting. I cried myself to sleep. I turned and picked up my iPod off, off the stool where I put it every night. I turned it on and looked at the time. It was the afternoon. I put my iPod back on the stool. I turned to the wall which is on my left side of me. I just wanted to get some more sleep, so I got the blankets closer to me and then slowly got back to sleep. Now, that all I got up to um, in the story and that, and if you want to hear any more or anything, um, please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. And I'm um, sorry if um, you can't stand me sometimes um, when saying it, but um, I'm sorry. I hope you like that story as well. Um, so, Put a comment down below saying you like the story or not or do you want me to continue doing it and it could be a daily, you know, doing stories, same to you or do you want me to put them up somewhere, it's up to you. Um, hit, hit this video thumbs up for me and um, subscribe to this channel obviously and also subscribe to my second channel which is, I've got to do daily vlogs on there. I'll put a link down in the description box for you to go to my second channel and subscribe there. So um, yeah, that all, that all I'm going to say. And bye! Bye guys.